Learning how to fall can be one of the most useful tools in skateboarding. Because let's face it, it's inevitable. You're gonna fall. Everybody falls from just starting out or the biggest pros. We're always taking slams and getting better and learning how to fall better every time. But one of the most important things is you always wanna remember to breathe. What you don't wanna do is hold your breath, extend your body, and then just slam straight to the ground. The best thing is to always remember to breathe and try to get into a ball before you go for the tuck and roll. So I know that might have looked like it hurt, but it did not. And the reason is because you stay with your momentum. The thing that's important when you learn how to fall is that you never want to just go down all at once. You want to keep your momentum going. So as you brace yourself with your hands, that's when then, then that's when you do the tuck. And then you roll and you almost can push yourself back up again. So in skating, as soon as you get off your board, you're trying to keep that momentum because if you if you get stuck in one place, that's when you can really get hurt and you're trying to stay away from that. So it's like, you really, when they say like cats have nine lives, you really almost want to be like a cat. The skaters, we have a hundred lives and you, you want to be agile and quick. So those are two qualities you got to work on and if you don't, if you're not agile, it's going to be a little tricky. So we're going to start you from the very basis of just walking off your board and we'll go from there. So, the best, the first way that you learn how to bail, basically, before you can even really do skate tricks, you just want to learn how to walk off your board. But I'm going to do it on the grass, so it's a great place for beginners to start on the grass. So really, if you don't know how to fall, or you don't even really know how to stand well on a skateboard, because, you know, it, as you start to learn how to push your ride around, you get your momentum. The first basic thing you can do is just learn how to bend your knees, start bending your knees, and walking off your board. And just like that. And if you... You know, if you're not that agile, you might just want to practice sitting in grass, bending a little bit, taking that first step off. So just a couple times, you know, bend your knees, jump off. And then, you know, on the grass is safe. But really, it's going to look like this when you, when you learn to do it rolling. If you're just getting on a skateboard for the first time, you want to start to get comfortable with that. So you would start on the grass like we did before. And then just start riding and see if you can ride a little bit. Step off your board and start walking off. Because as things start to progress, you're gonna get more, you're gonna go faster, you're gonna get more speed. And that's when it gets a little scary because then you might run into something that we call on skateboard, we call them fart rocks. <laughs> fart rocks are like the most annoying thing. They're like these little rocks that when you hit skating, they go make a little noise. And you could get chucked like 10 feet if you run fast. And if you don't skate, you start hitting those things, it's really scary. So that's why I wanna get you ready by um, being able to just run and jump off your board first. Then once you get be able to do that, you know, you're gonna start riding the cruise faster and then you're gonna be able to, you know, at least do that. But what starts to happen is that the faster you go, the more speed you might get, then the faster you start running, and then you're running so fast you don't know what to do, you might just fall on your face. And we don't want that. So that's when we start that's when it comes into play to start to learn the tuck and roll. So we'll go back to the grass. We'll talk about the tuck and roll. Let's go. So, if you never really tucked and, tucked and rolled, you might want to just start on the grass, off your board, you can start to get a feeling of that. And um, it's really just about getting low and going right into the ground. So usually the tuck and roll is best when you have a little momentum, because then it carries you through. Like I said, you always want to try to use your momentum to not get pinned down or fall and stop. But if you've never done it before, you can just crouch down low, and usually you brace yourself. It's almost like a brace, tuck, and roll, really, even though it's called a tuck and roll. So if you just get down low, like this, keep your shoulder, and then do the roll. Maybe a couple times if you want to have fun. But you know, that's kind of a part of skating. You just gotta be ready to roll around and get dirty, you know, sometimes. Then you might want to put a little speed into it, because as you get going, like I said, you're gonna go faster and faster skating, so you can even walk do it a little bit faster when you run on the grass. So, race, tuck, roll. You can even do a little push-up too at the end. That usually helps me, like I said, it keeps you on there. So we'll do one more. 
It's so almost like a brace, tuck, roll. And see, I, I almost like run away because, like I said, you want, your body wants to keep that momentum going because once you get stuck, that's where things get sticky. So as you get, to get more comfortable with it, you actually just want to, you can even go a little faster. You can run a little faster on the grass and do it. And it's usually pretty safe once you get the first few. Like I said, you, it's almost like a brace, tuck, roll, and then a push up again. And uh, as you, like I said, you get more comfortable, you want to just, you almost got to practice that and just keep practicing on the grass a couple times. And then you can try to jump off your board. So we'll do a couple ones of those on your board. Just get that balance, get crushed down low, and just slowly kind of, you know, just for fun, just to start feeling it. Do a couple of those if you want. And the next step will be rolling into some grass. That'll help you as well. So what happens when you're going that fast, right? And you and you, and then you and you trip yourself, right? What are you gonna do? You gotta learn how to tuck and roll. So you can practice on the grass, right? Like this. You know, you get those good first. You wanna try one with me? Come on, bro. That's right. Do the tuck and roll. First, we'll do them in the grass real quick. All right. So you can just literally just run and get. So it's a brace, tuck, roll, push up. Try it. Yeah, you got wrist guards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to go over the top. You wouldn't go like that. That's a, that's a different fall. That's a different fall. Come on, come on, walk through. Try it again. Try it again. Oh, okay. Watch. So ready. You get a little momentum. See, that's what happens. See how you ran off your board? Yeah. I've done that when I run. I'm like, oh. you know, and then you eat shit. You go down. So it's almost like a brace. Yeah. Tuck, roll, and you can push off again. You always want to keep your momentum because when you, that's when it goes bad. Yeah. So yeah, like I said, brace, tuck, roll, push off again. Okay. Yeah. Want to try it like that? Yeah, yeah. But see, like, you lost the momentum, but as you do it, no, but it's okay. You'll get better at it. No, I know it sounds crazy, but you, you might fall. Yeah, 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 you might really. I mean, you were cruising. <laughs> you never know what's going to Yeah, what's your name? Let's go. Scott Eli. That's me. Let's go. So basically, you want to just get keep getting more comfortable with that because it's going to take a little while. It's going to, at first, like you see that guy that came by, you know, you might do it slow and not have the momentum, but you'll be able to build up your momentum. And it's really not that scary. You know, like we all fall, we all look stupid, even the best fall. You know, like I said, it becomes an art. Like you get good at falling. Like my favorite skaters, like Jamal Williams and Quinn Cardona, guys like that, they, they're like cats. They like know how to fall. They're like ninjas. And that's what we try to be like when we skate. You want to be agile and quick. So you really can just practice in the grass. It's the, one of the best things you can do. But then when you start to feel comfortable, take it back to the concrete. So basically, you start to get more comfortable with just falling on the ground. But then, as you get more comfortable, you might want to even put some more speed on that because, like I said, it's inevitable as you get better at skating, you'll fall going faster. So try to keep going, keep going faster. Actually, and to be honest, the faster I go, the less I feel anything. Because, like I said, once you, you keep your momentum going, it's amazing. Like, I literally did not feel anything on that last one. And then you'll get into feeling adrenaline, and once that happens, you start numbing yourself out with adrenaline anyways. But, like I said, that's pretty much it. That's the basics. And the more you practice, the more comfortable you'll be. And you, then you start to learn that, like, learning how to fall is an art. You know, it's really an art form, and it's very beneficial in so many ways, even more than skating. You know, I see people walking down the street, and they just trip walking up a curb, you know? So once you have that under your belt, it, it makes skating a lot easier. And uh, you get more comfortable, but you have to remember, don't be afraid to look stupid. We all fall. Everybody falls on a skateboard. And, you know, give yourself that time to commit to it, because it's not easy, and it, and it takes a lot of time. Remember the pillars. You know, visualizing yourself skating, you know, taking action, trying tricks, and really committing to skateboarding.
practicing, man. You get it. All right, guys. That's, that's it for crash flow. So keep up. Rip, 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 rip it up. Bless up.